So in cooperation with our very good friends at Carry On Blogging, all of the Film Talk team, Rabbit and Snail Film Talk team, are just taking a moment out of their very busy film lives to talk about their favourite Carry On movies. And we're talking to everybody, trying to come up with a nice collection of our favourite Carry On films. And I'm delighted I'm joined by film historian, broadcaster and journalist, Maurice Bright, MBE. And we're going to talk about Morris's favourite Carry On movie movies, perhaps. So difficult, isn't it? I mean, what an amazing film genre! You've got thirty-one. I mean, you had the original thirty, if you like, between nineteen fifty-eight and seventy-eight. So you had the original uh, thirty, uh, and it is very difficult. Um, and as you get older, um, your views on the Carry Ons may change. So when I was very, very young, and I used to watch them with the family. I tended to laugh at the ones which had a lot more slapstick, slapstick. in, because yes, right. I didn't necessarily understand the double entendre of the innuendo. And as I've got a little bit older, I've actually understood a little bit more of the double entendre and the double meanings, etc. And the slapstick's taken a slightly sort of back step, if you like. So it was a difficult one, um, because I tend, when there's a group of 30, to think of a few. So, for example, Carry On Cabby, uh, which is one of the last black and white films, it's an absolutely wonderful film, great cast, great pathos, wonderful performance by Hattie Jakes. But the reason why it doesn't quite do it for me is because my hero, who I was delighted to meet, was Kenneth Williams. Kenneth Williams and I loved yes. Kenneth Williams, and as I got a chance to meet the, the man on a couple of occasions. Uh, and so it really needed to be one with Kenneth Williams. I felt the films of the 70s, early 70s were quite good, then they drifted off a bit. It was a change in era, it was a change in what was going on in the cinema. They were trying to keep up, if you like, with some of the the, the more um, saucy comedies that were coming out at the time. So for me, it needed to be somewhere sort of maybe mid to late 60s. Loved Karen Up the Kyber, saw it at the cinema um, in, at the Barbican with Peter Rogers, the producer, uh, in the 90s. So got an opportunity to have a look at it on a big screen. And again, it's one of those films which are actually worth looking on a big screen. People assume carry-ons a cheap looking films they're not they're not no, no. and Kyber they're looks astonishing wonderful and they're, they're made inexpensively but they were used the top technicians so you had Alan Hume who would go between Carry On and Bond um, and was nominated for an Oscar I think for Runaway Train you don't uh, get to make a film in six weeks unless you've got the top technicians so they were made inexpensively but they didn't necessarily look inexpensive I loved Carry On Spying because again it was Kenneth Williams forte but it was a lot of mm. the stop messing about but for me, looking back, I think I'm going to go for Carry On Cleo. Ah. I like within it not just the performances, but the way that the script is played with. It's probably less Shakespeare, more Bernard Shaw, you know, season Cleopatra, uh, ra rather than Shakespeare. But you know what? There's so many knowing lines in there uh, and cleverness in there. Um, I know there's the infamy, infamy, they've all got an infamy gag. Yes, I know that actually that wasn't a Talbot Rothwell gag, it was actually Dennis Norden and Frank Muir's, uh, and, and, and he used it many years later, but it works so well. But those other, other lines between Kenneth Connor and, and Jim Dale, looking at the signs, which are we, Vestal Virgins or Eunuchs? Not sure which door's going, are we Eunuchs? What have we got to lose? You know, things like that. <laughs> He's, you know... It's it's wonderful, and you've got you've got Charles Autry. Beware the Ides of March. He's going. What are you talking about? Beware the Ides of March. He said, "I'll ignore the old fool." Last one, month, it was Beware the Nuts in May. So it's it's <laughs> it's very funny. It's very silly. It looks great because, of course, they've got costumes that were used you know, for, for Cleopatra. Absolutely, and so you've got Sid James wearing Richard Burton's outfit, um, and I just think the whole thing. He's just very clever. And also, I know Jim Dale very well. He's a very dear friend. And he said that Kenneth Williams used to mess about something terrible on set. So when they're running around, there's that scene where the big guy's coming at them and they're all pushing up against themselves, sort of up against next to each other. He would really push himself up. He'd push his bum right up. To, and he'd go, Kenneth, stop it, stop it. And he knew he was being filmed, so Kenneth would be messing about. So generally, it sounded like they had good fun making it. The script is crisp. It holds out very well. By nature of the fact it's a historical film, they don't date. Yeah, so it doesn't dated. feel dated. Um, Joan Sims, Kenneth Williams, Kenneth Connor, uh, Sid James, uh, all of them. Ne never Charles Autry, never better. And some wonderful cameos from, from people like John Pertwee. So for me, if I've got to pick one, I'm going for Carry On Cleo. There you go. You can't argue with that. Carry On Cleo, one of the... It is, in certainly in my view, one of the best Carry On movies. And to have all the costumes and sets... From, Elizabeth Taylor and Richard Burton's Cleopatra. You couldn't lose, really, could you? But a great contribution. Thank you very much. Thank you.
we're continuing to look at what are our favourite Carry On movies. As our great friends over at Carry On Blogging are putting out a special blog post and this little video compilation of ours from Rabbit and Snail's Film Talk, where all of our contributors are getting together and kind of thinking, oh, what's our favourite Carry On movie of all time? And, you know, Phil, your, some of your favourites might include, and then reveal your favourite. Well, so some of the best Carry On movies for you. For you. Some of the best, I mean, some of the funniest and the most complete ones, you have things like Carry On Cleo. Mm. It's all classic. Amazing. And Carry On Screaming is good fun. Great. Like connection with Hammer. Fenella Fielding. Fenella yeah. Fielding, looking wonderful. And smoking, can you mind if I smoke? Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, you know, I like, I like things like Carry On Cabby, when you think about it. That's got some great lines, and the story plot is, is strong. And we said earlier, a great yeah. role for Hattie, Hattie Jakes. Yeah, she has a proper character. Which proper character, with, a proper role, yeah. yeah she's very unusual for, for Hattie. Um, I like Carry On Kaiba. I like Carry On... I say Carry On Cleo is good. Carry On Cowboy, I think it's got some great lines in it. Wasn't that building a Bing Forest or something? It was, it was in Black Park down Black Park down, out the back of it. Yeah, when the Indians... <laughs> went and Not the wild Charles West. Hawtrey called, calls them to... He says, umpa, umpa. Sticking up my jumper. <laughs> Bloody quick. <laughs> 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 Move on. Charles Hawtrey. <laughs> Charles Hawtrey, <laughs> Charles Hawtrey <laughs> a great character. character. But, um, but your favourite? My favourite of all those ones. It's got to be Carry On Up the Kyber. Really? Because... Yeah, such I, a recurring theme, I think. It's just strong, you know. It's got a proper story to it. The characters are bonkers. Uh, the whole situation is bonkers. And uh, I just think it's just really, really, really funny. We're all put together. And Bernie Breslau plays a really strong character. Yeah, Normally he's, he's like the bumbling buffoon. That's right, but he's quite a strong but he's a really character. powerful character yeah. up, up the Kaiser. He's, 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 he's the henchman of the Kazi, isn't he? That's he's right, the yeah. yeah. He was... Um, <laughs> Kenneth Williams and Bonded I mean, Inn and all the others and yeah but, but, but the whole plot evolves around they're afraid of the uh, the men in skirts because they fear they're wearing something un- they, they don't, not, wear, don't wear anything underneath yeah, it. Well. You know, when the photograph comes out that they are of course they're not afraid of them anymore and uh, you have that wonderful sequence of Pinewood being blown up and they have the dinner dinner scene. yeah <laughs> and um, Joan Simmons when she's got stuck oh dear I'm getting a little plastered <laughs> <laughs> and there's poor old Peter Butterworth who thinks you're all mad, you're all mad because they're always carrying on. Say, oh yeah, let's have the, let's have the old hors d'oeuvres and let's have the, the main soup and then let's have a, we'll have some dessert. Oh yes, well I think I'll stay for dessert. And he says you, you're bonkers. The whole thing's collapsing in. But the classic scene at the end when they they line up and the kilts yeah, and and Kenneth William goes and they all run away and he goes come back, come back. There's nothing to be afraid of. And then turns around and goes oh I don't know though. <laughs> <laughs> And runs off. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's my favourite. <sighs> yeah. We we said we'd do this little video as a compilation of all the from all of our people on all of the team at Film Talk talking about their favourite Carry On movies. But I, in just doing this, we just That's reminiscing funny. about yeah. favourite scenes and laughing, just continuously laughing. And I was going to say, my final question, what is the appeal of the carry-up? But I think maybe we just answered that with a constant laughter. I mean, they were just, they weren't all brilliant. No, some were weaker than others. But the bulk of the film, they were just great comedy. You always find something in them that would make you laugh. And they make you laugh naturally. Do you know what I mean? And even when you can see the joke coming, you start laughing before. And even Mm. when you see it before, you know the joke. You know, infamy, infamy, they've all got it infamy. You just, (laughs) you know it's coming, but you still laugh the way he delivers it. And you still laugh, even though you've seen it and heard it many yeah, times. Yeah. yeah, I know. It's great. Yeah. Yeah. 30, I mean 30 in the end. I know. I know. It's a shame they couldn't really get, when they relaunched it, mm. look back and say, well, why does this work? You know, why does this is what the bits that work, let's do that sort of thing. Um, and just put a load of people in it and think it's going to go to work. I'm talking about the carry on Columbus, you know. It's just a bit, yeah, they, a bit yeah Columbus is not, um, yeah, mm. not very good. But then they, they try England, too hard. Maybe. Yeah, not too wonderful. But they just try too hard, which you shouldn't do, which is kind of what Hammer used to do. They used to formularic and say, oh, yeah, we'll just do that, rather than look at it and say, well, actually, what really worked? Mm. Oh, it's a good story, proper jokes, sort of thing, proper characters. Yeah. You know, not just throw things in and hope it works, sort of thing. Yeah. Great season. So your nomination for the greatest yes. carry on is carry on, on up, up the, the kind. Mark, you've got a, a top five 
I list have, I the carry on movies come on what, yeah. what are they well I said fortunately I saw a lot of these actually in the cinema well it was 30 showing my age it was 30 <laughs> and so I have great memories of laughing my laughing my head off and lots of other people in the cinema contagiously laughing mm. but carry on screaming oh yeah 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 vanilla feeling carry on up the Kyber yes god <laughs> just, great movie even just the character names are hilarious <laughs> <laughs> and uh um, <laughs> sorry, you're right. <laughs> yeah, keep going, um, keep going. <laughs> Carry on, don't lose your head. Yeah, great film. Yeah, yeah Charles Hawtrey is brilliant. Oh, and uh, Mr. Camembert was the. That's uh, right. Yeah. Yes, the black fingernail. Black fingernail. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Carry on camping. Yes, which is just terrific. The yeah. Infamous scenes there. Um, Miss Dobbin was uh, Valerie Leon. That's there. right. Yes, yeah. you're right. Mm-hmm. My favourite one, my really favourite one, is Carry on Doctor. So of the five, that's out the five. The, yes, kind of, carry so on. So why Doctor. carry on, Doctor? Uh, it's just, it's just, it's every line is a gag, and I know they all are like that, but it, it really is hilarious. And I particularly like Frankie Howard in it. He is just, he plays a character called Francis Bigger. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Even just that alone, Think bigger. Absolutely, it, it's <laughs> just Sid James is in it, of course. Uh, Kenneth Williams is. Wow. It's just a terrific film. And it was, it's actually, because it was 67, it was just on the cusp of, you know, the older style movies. And the other ones are fantastic, but they were just starting to get a bit more modernised, things yeah. like that. But this this was a classic, and uh, it, it's, a, it's, it's my favourite carry-on film, by the way. It's brilliant. And what, what is it about, because it was 30 of them, mm. not all of them the funniest of films ever. To be fair, mm, yeah, uh, but most of them are pretty good. Carry on, England. Uh, <coughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, I can mention a few others, uh, but I mean, I like Karen Cleo, for example. Yes, and, yes. Uh, carry on screaming. Mm. And, anyway, just what was it about these these Carry On movies that made them so flaming popular? I think it was uh, well, obviously it was gag after gag. Yeah, uh, I, I actually thought you could relate to the characters in a strange way, because. That sounds crazy, but going back thirty odd years as well, it's uh, it was a time of you know life was very different. Yeah, indeed, very different, and it, might be, it certainly wasn't as PC as it is now. That's for sure. And uh, so the comedy was quite relevant in a strange way. It was fashionable at that yep. time, and so you know that. So it reminds me of a bygone time, really, mm. in many ways, and uh, and some of those characters and some of those people, you know. Uh, Live with us for so many years as well, and they became, you know, almost not part of the family, but certainly, you know, you could relate familiar to friends, them. exactly, for very exactly. familiar and, friends. You know, yeah. Sid James is just hilarious, yeah. just that, yeah. that laugh alone. Patty Jakes, Patty, oh, oh, it's wonderful. They're just terrific. Barbara Windsor, yes. just brilliant, brilliant characters and, and great actors. Um, but as I said at the beginning, I think the thing that sticks in my mind still is I do remember going to see these at the cinema, and whenever one of these films was released, it was big news. And you go to the cinema, you'd probably have to queue up to get it, if you could even get yeah. in. Um, but the place would be electric, and everybody would be laughing. It's contagious. It's just, I have great memories of, of enjoying those films tremendously. And just riotous contagious laughter in the audience it was it really really it was and of course when a new film came out they actually did a double bill so they they <laughs> put the film on two years ago it would be on it as well so fantastic because no videos or anything like that so that's how you got your you know to see the films over Fits. and over again because they'd be double bills and uh, hilarious times great time fantastic great times. thank you mark thank you thank you <laughs> One very quick question. So mm. we're asking all the people who are taking part in our film talk series. <laughs> we've done a documentary, we've done a production, now we're doing talking about film talk. Uh, so they're all talking about their favourite classic movies and we're doing a great top 100 best movies ever made, in our opinion, for film talk. We're also doing a one-off special for our launch week, which is what do we think is our favourite carry-on film. And Mark and Morris and Phil are all going to talk about their favourite carry-ons. But as you're here... We took very quickly, for 30 seconds, your favourite carry-on movie of all time. And I bet I can guess what it is, but do you want to tell us? Well, I've always thought it was carry-on up the Kai because that is just so funny. So, I mean, it really is laugh out loud. But thinking about it and with the 
recent events, I have to opt for carry on screaming, not just because of my heritage, but because of the absolutely wonderful Fenella Fielding, who was so brilliant in it and iconic in that dress, which okay. I saw was repeated on Strictly Come Dancing, actually, Tess on Strictly Come Dancing, during, I think, a Halloween one or something like that, mm. was wearing the exact same dress. She, I mean, she's an icon and um, it has to be carry on screaming. Wonderful. You never were in a carry-on film? Were you tempted no, no, to be in no, a carry-on? No, no, no. In fact, oh, I never said this to anybody, but I was called to Pinewood to audition along with a list of, you know, about three or four other girls. And I can't remember anything about it except I can remember that I didn't get the job. So I don't talk about it. Okay. Quite Every, right you know, too. part of a jobbing actress's life. But, um, mm. you know, I'm a bit sad about that. I don't even know which one it was. I don't know who got it. I did. You didn't do that in those days. You didn't get a job, you just moved on. Mm. You know, that's how it happened. You go for a commercial, they didn't like you, or they did like you, vice versa. But I did go all the way to Pinewood and failed to get the job. Well, I think the Carry On franchise is the worst for it. <laughs> no, I think they probably are. Thank you. Yes, they should have, they should have cast. Of course. Of course. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.